Welcome everyone to another sunlit Sharjah Stadium for the second ODI between Pakistan and the West Indies. Indiaya presents Bright or Paint Cup 2016. So here we are in the commentary box. This is where a lot of the action happens. This is what you might actually see, but you won't get a real sense of what goes on. Here you've got our uh, two commentators in action, Ian Bishop, uh, Bazit Khan. They're putting on a show for you. They, they sometimes will sound really eloquent, really articulate, but to get what really goes on behind the scenes, you've got to talk to some of the guys who are really following the action when, when, when things are developing. We've got a scorer and statistician here, a mother, who keeps everybody on their toes with all of the data. Some of it pretty meaningless as well, I have to say, but we have to pretend that we sound interested uh, to, to at least make him feel that he's worth something. In fact, all of the, all of the stats, guys, they, they, they are fantastic about providing us with information that we really don't need, but we've got to use it anyway at, at the end of the day. Now, on the other side, we've got to be a bit more respectful. Here we've got the producers, the assistants, and so on. If we're too disrespectful, we won't have a job. So we've got to ensure that we recognize their roles in telling us when to get on air, when to get off air, and all of that. And really, they have a key role to perform in ensuring that thing, things move along pretty smoothly. But what really goes on in a commentator's mind? Is it, is it a, a different dialogue that, go, uh, that goes on when you're on the air? And when you're off the air with Wakar, with Ramis, with so many others who you would have uh, been against over the years, uh, what's the dialogue like with those guys? There'll be so many stories to be told. You know, you, you would have heard um, earlier one of our favorite individuals, Javid Mendad, and just the stories that um, and the, the things that would have happened over the years, the, the incidents, um, the, the, the stories to be told. And when you have individuals, you know, who would have uh, been so experienced at this particular level, and having the commentary members as well. There's so much knowledge in, the, in, 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 in a commentary room. And I'm just uh, ever so pleased and privileged in a big way to be part of it. Okay, so we've just come out of the commentary box. That may be the glam area, but that's really for the show ponies. The real work goes on outside of the commentary box, beginning with our cameramen. And one of them, uh, trying to look as if he's working extremely hard, because he does, is Yaps. Uh, Yaps, uh, tell us, as much as I'm trying to distract you so you can get in trouble with the director, how difficult is this job? Every camera has a role to play, and we normally end up playing the same role. If something different has to be done, the director calls for it. But otherwise, he picks and chooses the shots that he wants. So. Uh, so that's the situation here uh, with uh, some of our cameramen. There are a lot of cameramen around the ground. But having had a look at this as more runs are being scored, we're going to go down to the engine room to tell you what really happens in the heart of the action here in the camera room. We're just about ready to head into the engine room. Look at the sign, restricted area. It's a forbidden zone. It's only the area where those who are actually involved in the cricket broadcast to come together. This is the, the area where uh, all of those images, all of the sounds, all of uh, the action out in the middle come together and is really refined into the, the pictures that allow you to see the top class cricket action that takes place. Let's head in there right now. going out to the area known as EVS and uh, we're going to be joined by someone who's very experienced in this area to give us a sense as to what this job is all about. Just give us a sense of what your job actually entails. Well, it, uh, well I've got to sit here all day and uh, maybe look at the game and uh, play a replay every now and then. Uh, 
we, we listen to what the commentators tell us to do, of course. But uh, otherwise, we have a good time. Uh, uh, what is the most challenging time when a wicket falls, or w w because there's so much so much action at the time? What, what is the 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 the, 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 the the busiest period for you when you're looking at all the replays? The busiest period is for the DRS, when we look for the good replays to make Gampar happy and look good. Gora, thanks a lot. Thank you. So you, as you realize, they're all pretty busy and probably the busiest of them all as far as all of the information feeding into him would be the director. And uh, our director for this particular series uh, is uh, Himant Book. And uh, Himant is uh, someone who's toured the world, been all over the place, uh, following all the action. and. Uh, it's something that requires a tremendous amount of experience. You've got to know the game, but you've got to know all of the technology that is involved. And uh, he is uh, the man who you're going to see in a moment uh, behind all of the action. Uh, there he is, together with Rick Ganguly at his side, uh, looking at the action. Uh, Rick is doing uh, the vision mixing, offering up uh, different images as uh, the director requires. And he is actually looking at a number of screens. And uh, this is where it takes all of that experience because you've got to appreciate that he's got to decide even as the action is going on. Yeah, hey man, sorry to disturb you, but you know that's what our commentators are here for, to make your life difficult. Uh, how challenging is it, this particular job, mixing everything, putting everything together? It, it gets a little bit challenging if games get close. Uh, it, it used to be challenging, now it's much easier because you know, things fall into place once you do it for a bit of time. And you just have to watch the game and concentrate if you can concentrate. And as you talk about that, that concentration, uh, does, does it ever become a routine? It's never a routine. It's Every game is different. Yeah. Every every action, every reaction is different. Uh, so no, it's, it's always different. It's all moving parts and it's always fun. It's always very, very different. He's the director, he's the one in charge. Uh, when uh, we continue our journey here, we'll look at the final part of putting this all together. Well, the world might be going wireless, but as you've just seen, there are still a heap of wires uh, involved, miles and miles of wires, when it comes to a television production of this magnitude. It's absolutely essential. And what, what you have here is the engineering console, at least the, the back of the engineering console. With, uh, all sorts of equipment, everything is plugged in, everything is interconnected, which is why it looks so very confusing. You've got different cables, you've got the multicolored ones, all of them would have a tag and a bit of a code uh, to point out to those who are putting it together, who is connected to who at which part of the production line. You've got the heavier cables, which uh, carry uh, a lot more of those wiring in together. And this is really uh, another important element of this entire television production, the engineering area uh, where they ensure that all of the continuous elements that are being created, the sound, the video, the mixing, the voices, uh, all of it comes together beautifully at the end of it all. It's a lot of work, a lot of uh, technical expertise and experience involved and at the end of the day, they certainly ensure uh, that uh, the final product is up to the very highest standard that you would like to see. Well, whether the image is unattractive as what you just saw and what you're seeing right now, it still comes down to getting those pictures out to you wherever you are. And this is what it comes down to, the satellite transmission. At the end of the day, if this wasn't working, you wouldn't get anything at all and it would be all of that effort in vain. So this is the key element of it all and that's probably why they will say they're the ones that really matter when it comes to any live television broadcast because this is where the uplink is it's sent by satellite and then relayed uh, to the broadcast house. From that point on, it's disseminated to millions of you all over the world. So hopefully you've gotten a good idea of a, a bit of what is involved in a live television broadcast, especially of cricket. There's a tremendous amount of coordination, collaboration. There's even some anxieties and some tensions as well. But at the end of the day, it's all about everyone coming together as a team much like the two teams out in the field right there who are battling for victory, our victory is to ensure that the images you see, the sounds that you hear, give you the real taste of international cricket at its very best.